Hi, everyone. Uh, we are at number 25. That is, I'm at the halfway point of this Queen 50 series, and what an appropriate title. Don't stop me now. There's no stopping. Um, I'm halfway there. I'm going to keep going. Don't stop me now. It's not happening. <laughs> of course, you can always check out my Coffee and Patreon pages if you want to support this journey as I explore music that is new to me. You can find all kinds of things there. I'm constantly enriching it and building up the offerings there. Right now, we're doing this great series of weekly live meetings where we gather together and listen to music and um, discuss it and share live. Also, exclusive videos and things which I can't put on YouTube because of copyright issues with the YouTube platform. Anyway, check it out if you're interested. And don't stop me now. Voted in 2014 by Rolling Stone readers as their third favorite song by Queen. Hmm, makes me curious. What's the first favorite and second favorite? Anyway, Don't Stop Me Now was written by Freddie. The song provides an example of Queen's trademark style of multi-track harmony vocals for the chorus lines. I do enjoy their um, chorus sound, so I guess I'll enjoy that part of it at least. The single has reached platinum status in the United Kingdom, and in March 2019, Billboard published an article titled The Evolution of Queen's Don't Stop Me Now, How a Minor Hit Became One of the Band's Most Beloved and Inescapable songs. The television show Top Gear voted it the greatest driving song ever. Brian May stated, it was kind of a stroke of genius from Freddie. Okay, well, this is going to be fun. Don't stop me now. Tonight I'm gonna have myself a real good time. I feel alive. And now I am going to stop it all. <laughs> what a fun... I, I totally understand how this could be the greatest driving song ever. I wonder how many people have gotten speeding tickets listening to this one. Go, 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 go. Don't stop me now. And, and you just... It's like you have to drive faster and faster to keep up with it, right? Cruise control will be your best friend. <laughs> So I have this little, I have this little thing stuck in my mind because I am currently teaching some Bach fugues to some students, more advanced level students, and and they're learning all the different intricacies and and details. And one of the things that, well, all right, quick detour here. We've paused for a rest stop on our journey here. A fugue is a very technical type of composition. There are specific devices used, and I won't go into all of them. One of them is called stretto. Stretto in a fugue means that one phrase, one, one musical statement is coming to an end, and before it ends, a new one begins, kind of interrupting it mid-sentence. 
And simply because I've been teaching this to my students recently and it's all fresh in my mind. I was just teaching yesterday evening and and this was the topic. So this is all fresh in my mind. And because of that, as soon as we got to this verse here, which we're in, um, don't stop me now. I'm having a good time, having a ball. Don't stop me now. If you want to have a good time, just give me a call. And, and the way, the way, the different sentences, phrases suddenly began interrupting each other or, 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 um, coming in before, before one is finished, kind of overlapping like this. That is what we call stretto in a fugue. And, and just because I was teaching it just not many hours ago, now I thought, oh, there's some stretto in this song. Just a fun little thing to notice. And well, let's back up and hear it. And then we'll keep going. Sonic man out of you This I'm piano control, really is I'm like a machine ready to reload. Like an atom everything is it's, it's, oh, 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 explode. I'm burning through the sky. Yeah. 200 degrees, that's why they call me Mr. Farrell. Oh, 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 explode. You know, as it's building, building, you see the explosion just starting to go, and then off it goes. This is. This is so full of energy and vibrancy and um, these, it's still such a, such a queen signature style in that they take these little moments and okay, this is a good driving energy piece. It could go on and on and nobody would care. We'd be happy just listening to it uh, push us on down the road, right? But the thing about Queen is that they don't stop there. They always add the extra little bit of something. This little build up. Oh, 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 explode. It didn't have to be there and it would have been just fine without it. It could have just said, I've got to explode and we would have been driving on down energetically. but. But no, oh, 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 we, fe we feel it building up and explode. The pressure builds and builds and then it explodes. And, and those extra touches, Queen doesn't stop at good enough. Queen doesn't stop at, at, we've got it nice and everyone's going to love it. Queen goes a little bit further. They always put the cherry on top. That was great. That was great. All up until this point, we've been hearing everything together. The piano, the bass, um, the drums, and we have built a sort of orchestral soundtrack in our minds. And so when they cut off all but the drums, we still have this sort of soundtrack going because it is a fairly repetitive piece of music. It's, it's driving and it's pushing us through with a lot of repetition. Repetition used in the way that repetition does brilliantly. This, this pushing us forwards and, and driving it into us. And 
uh, the base has been pulsing and and jumping around doing its base gymnastics, and the piano has been doing all these wonderful uh, energetic rhythmic style chords. All of it has been fairly rhythmic. And then you cut it off and you get to really focus on the rhythm. But still in the back of our minds, we have this memory of the whole orchestral sound. And so it doesn't sound, it, it, it doesn't sound like we've lost something. Instead, it sounds like, ah, uh, shall I say, we have enter deeper into the zone. When you're driving, you're driving down the road and you kind of fall into this uh, driving zone and things start passing and you don't really even register a lot of them. You're just in the zone traveling and enjoying the whole moment. This is kind of what's happening here. It's as if we've suddenly entered that driving zone. I'm traveling up the speed of light I'm gonna make a supersonic world on our view Don't stop me, don't stop me, don't stop me Hey, hey, hey! Don't stop me, don't stop me, ooh, ooh, ooh like Don't stop it. me, don't stop me Have a good time, good time Don't stop me, don't stop me oh. Can I say I love that guitar solo? It's so singable. If I listened to it a couple more times, I could kind of sing it. It doesn't even go far out of the singing range. You wouldn't have to modify it a lot. It's so incredibly melodic and joyful. It works perfectly here. We just had this rhythmic, don't stop me, don't stop me, don't stop me, and then well, lyrics as well. We haven't really talked about lyrics yet. Um, he's he's go flying through all kinds of things, right? But the last thing he said, let's make a supersonic woman out of you. And then um, have a good time. And that's when the drums take the center stage. And don't stop me, don't stop me, don't stop me. The classic Freddy, oh, I like it. You know, I've heard that how many times now? I, I should have been counting, right? It's kind of like in the Beatles series, I've been I've been trying to take note of the, tr of the slow triplets. Now here, I should have been t trying to take note of how many times do I hear him say, oh, I like it. I like it, I like it. That's a Freddy signature if there ever was one. And <clears throat> don't stop me, don't stop me. Oh, and then there's this place where it kind of winds up. We were just talking about supersonic and uh, traveling at the speed of light. And then we kind of entered this zone where there was less resistance. There was this, this driving zone, as I was saying. Now, when we come back in, and when the guitar comes in, and it comes screaming back, kind of screaming back into the atmosphere uh, from outer space, and you suddenly feel the resistance and the friction as we come a bit closer. So uh, it's, it's a fun moment there. And then we have this fabulous, short, but, and, and not, terribly pyrotechnic, but it's utterly beautifully, melodically sung from the guitar. Don't stop me, don't stop me, don't stop me. Hey, hey, hey! Don't stop me, don't stop me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like don't stop it. me, don't stop me. Have a good time, good time. Don't stop me, don't stop me. Oh. Oh. Here we are. Alright. Tell me. I didn't 
didn't even realize that was coming up. I'm burning through the sky, 200 degrees. Well, I was just talking about the friction and the 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 intensity of re-entering the atmosphere. This is a blazing, blazing um, piece of music. <laughs> Percussion change there. Don't stop me now. If you wanna have a good time, just give me a call. Don't stop me now. Don't stop me now. Don't stop me now. Don't wanna stop at all. Disappears off into space. Ya -da -da -da. <laughs> that is great fun. Really a a piece of music on fire, isn't it? One other thing that I wanted to point out that I really appreciate and enjoyed was this way he handled, they handled, the don't stop me now. Um, motif. What a great use of small moments of silence. Don't stop me now. And a touch of syncopation. It works so well to emphasize. It almost puts a little stop in that phrase. Don't stop me now. Kind of like driving along and someone tries to come along and distract you, whatever, and you're like, don't, don't even think about it. Don't, 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 uh, don't stop me now. Uh, I'm, I'm on a mission. I'm on a journey. I'm traveling. I'm having the time of my life and I have no intention of that changing ever. And then we go, la, 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 and off we go. Still enjoying every, every minuscule fraction of a second. A great fun piece of music. Well, I don't know exactly where this is placed in terms of when Freddy realized that he was sick with AIDS. I don't know. Um, but one of the things that I really love about Freddie and the band Queen as a whole is this contagious, unrestrained, wholehearted, throw yourself into it um, attitude of we are going to embrace life and we're going to embrace every aspect of it. We are going to, we are going to live it to the fullest. That's what comes out of their music. We are going to live life to the fullest, regardless of whether it's good, bad, ugly, miserable, um, tragic, exciting, every aspect. We are just going to embrace it all and be utterly thrilled with the fact that we can be alive and experience this journey called life. That's what I get from their music. and. And yes, they, they sometimes, they often go towards the theatrical, the overdramatic and, and um, camp and all, all of these kind of over the top portrayals and renditions. But at the same time, there's something still, in spite of all of that, very deeply sincere in what they present. It doesn't simply feel like a put on. It feels like it 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 springs from within the the band, the energy, the the life that they that they embrace. 
And I love that about their music. I really do. This is one of those songs. Looking at the form of it, well, I mentioned earlier, it's, it's quite repetitive, and it is. There are some things about it that, that are worth noting, though. For example, the what I call the bookend style. In other words, the introduction and the coda, the closing, really have nothing whatsoever to do musically with the bulk of the song. It's kind of like bookends. That's why I call it the bookend style. Holding up or, or containing the main part of it. But it's a different material. It's a different... It could be an entirely different song. They could have expanded that and turned it into something in its own right. A song on its own two feet. But instead they took this lovely... Um, expressive, kind of schmaltzy, jazzy, mushy, squishy musical style and used it to surprise us. Because it starts like that. And for someone like me and anyone who heard it for the first time, you think, oh, here goes another one of the Queen style you know, blues-influenced, whatever, expressive pieces, and suddenly, out of nowhere, we get this blast into something else. Well, now, I've heard enough Queen to know that they are capable of that something else. Is it, I'm in love with my car, and, and, um, oh, there have been some others along the way as well. Is that the one that's really driving and, and heavy-duty, and, and there were a couple others kind of like that along the way. So we know that they can do this hard driving style. But it comes as such a surprise after this introduction of easygoing life. And when we're, once we launch into it, it consumes us. We forget what came at the beginning. And so the closing also is a sort of a surprise. We're surprised that we return to this, this slow, easygoing style. We expected to go hard driving all the way to a crashing end. But no, suddenly things lighten up. The intensity is, is up. You know, it, it reminds me a little bit of the blast off of a rocket. And then suddenly, once it's out in space, Suddenly, and you turn the engines off and it's just the spaceship out there just floating around, floating around, and la 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 la, and life is easy, life is good, and we're just going to float off into the future like that. That's, that's kind of how it felt to me the first time around, but, but I like this element of surprise that they include in their music. In some ways, it's almost predictable that they're going to throw something quirky in there somewhere. Kind of like this, I like it, I like it, that, that I've begun to recognize as a Freddy signature. Another thing that I noticed about this piece is how it's really quite blues-based. Um, even the piano. It's a, it's a hard-driving, rhythmic... Uh, approach, but but this is really a, a blues, jazz, kind of, shall I say club style, where someone sits down and they're just going to town on the keys and going all over the place, and, and, and it's all incredibly rhythmic that way. So some simple musical influences, inspirations, um, a simple repetition approach with this nice little bookend and suddenly we end up with don't stop me now and off we go it's really fun but the thing that i take away from it is this is such an embracing of life as a whole a great first listen um and as i said don't stop me now i'll see you soon <laughs>